inductor's property to keep the current at a constant level causes currents to lag behind the voltage in an inductive circuit now if you want to know uh, how this happens watch the video now the basic thing before we get started with this video uh, we should know is inductor stores energy as a magnetic field right we have seen this in our previous video now if you want to watch that video you will get uh, the link for that video down in the description right so inductor stores energy as a magnetic field now we will see when ac current passes through a resistor uh, it will dissipate heat and it is normal it is completely normal now what happen if the ac current passes through an inductor of course it will act differently now how it acts and why do we get a lagging current through a inductor we will see that an inductor's ability to store energy as a function of current results in a tendency to try to maintain current at a constant level it will try to keep your current at a constant level no matter what input you provide to the inductor right so what is that parameter that inductor plays with and keeps the current constant yes it is voltage now depending upon the change in your current the inductor will vary uh, the voltage across it and it will try to keep the current at a constant level now how this happens let's see that whenever current through a inductor increases what inductor will try to do it will try to keep that current at a normal level by decreasing the voltage across it right and here comes your ohms law what decrease in voltage means as per as ohms law is concerned with decreasing voltage your current will also decrease right if you want to know more about the ohms law uh, with its practical proof you will find the link for the video down in the description and in this situation the inductor is taking supply or taking energy from your system and acting as a load right this is clear now in the second case when current through a inductor decreases it will try to keep that current at a constant level by increasing the voltage across it right and in this situation the inductor is said to be dis discharging and the previous case was the charging of inductor now in this case the inductor is discharging because whatever stored energy is there in the inductor it's now being released right and this is uh, you know discharging of inductor and this is uh, in this situation the inductor act as a source right clear and this is the reason why you will get a lagging current in an inductor still confused don't worry uh, the next waveforms will uh, make the things clear uh, the blue waveform shows the voltage and the red dotted waveform shows the current now whenever current through a inductor goes to the minimum level what will happen the inductor will try to keep this current at a normal level by increasing the voltage across it here you can see the current is at uh, the minimum level but the voltage across it is at maximum level similarly when the current goes on increasing and when the current will reach to its maximum value you will find that the voltage across the inductor is at minimum level right if you draw a waveform separately for the current after all this situation you will find that the current coming out of the inductor is nearly constant and this situation is true for every instant of this waveform if you will if you go with the negative peak or if you go with the positive peak it really does not going to matter it will remain the same and this is the reason you will find the voltage is having head start that of current or simply you can say voltage is leading the current or the current is lagging the voltage all these things are one and the same and this is the reason why you will always get a lagging current through a inductor clear very clear now there are some few things that you will you need to remember to keep this thing in mind inductor opposes the change in current through them 
by dropping a voltage directly proportional to the rate of change of current this means the more the change in current the more voltage it will drop and vice versa if current is decreasing voltage will push with the electron flow and that will keep uh, the voltage at a constant level if current is increasing voltage will push against the electron flow and that will drop the current and again keep it at a constant level and because of this basic property you will always get a lagging current through an inductive circuit so this is all about the why we get lagging current through an inductor i hope this video helped you guys and if you think this video uh, really helped you please do share this video with your friends and let them also know about this you, you can also find more interesting videos and articles on my website that is www.theelectricalguy.in you can find us on facebook instagram and uh, youtube to for getting our next update so guys thank you for watching keep watching keep learning